सैड जा रेडी ब्लॉग कर ची सो हे गाइस वेलकम टू सोम ब्लॉग्स दिस इज सोम हिया तो आज मैं चलाने वाला हूँ तो यह हमारा ऑन फाइव वी थ्री सो आई एम वेरी मच एक्साइटेड सो दैट बाइक इज़ वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स बाइक नवेंदु तो आई टेल द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हाउ आई फेल्ट फ्रॉम चेंजिंग फ्रॉम राइडिंग द आर ऑन फाइव वी थ्री फ्रॉम माई फ्रॉम राइडिंग द के डी एम डी टू हंड्रेड सो आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड लेट्स गो बस दस माई फ्रेंड ओवर दे विद द आर ऑन फाइव वी थ्री एंड सुन बी रिव्यूइंग दैट बाइक guys welcome to swam vlogs as you can see i'm riding the r15 v3 and believe me the seating position is very very aggressive very aggressive so as i'm used to the duke 200 seating position which is uh, very upright but in case of this r15 <laughs> dude The seating position is so awkward. I mean, so awkward for me because I normally ride my Duke 200, but in case of Farouk V3, I have to bend a lot. I mean, it's almost same as the RC 200 because I've driven the RC 200 before. As I uh, ride the KTM Duke 200, so in terms of power, my Duke wins obviously because it is a 150 cc engine. So it always produces less power than my Duke 200. In terms of powerful engine, obviously this feels a bit. Uh, I mean, what do you say? Less powerful than my Duke 200. Super awkward, super awkward. And what? So I have. The best thing about this bike is obviously the seating position of this bike, because I love this type of seating position which I miss in my Duke 200. But my friend, uh, I mean Navendu, who is the owner of this bike, loves uh, my KTM Duke 200 seating position. and the looks of the bike hey ki bend be ki bend nahi ye so i'm just doing a small spin in this bike so i have to tell something about this bike so what i can say is that the gear shift is not very stiff or very smooth i can say It is midway between smooth and hard, and the looks. Oh my God, this bike looks best. I mean, uh, very good than the R15 V2, which was the beforehand of this bike. Before this bike. And in terms of suspension, let me test here. Ah, uh, yeah. The suspension are not even that smooth, same as that of my Duke 200. But okay, suspension are a bit on the harder side. So in R15 V3, uh, you don't get an upside down forks as in case of my Duke 200. You get a normal telescopic forks in the front and a mono shock suspension in the back. and in terms of smoothness of the seat uh, because you are sitting so aggressively so you cannot just uh, i mean uh, get the comfort about 
you, do, cannot, you just cannot know about the comfort of this seat and yes the seat are a bit hard too and this is aggressive position bike I mean it can be, it can be compared uh, with the RC200 sitting position so and yes uh, I have also driven the Apache RR310 but that sitting position is not that aggressive as this bike so after driving after driving for around 5 to 10 minutes what I have ex experienced is that there are small pains in my wrist this part small pains because I have never used to this sitting position I am uh, driving for the first time uh, like I am driving for 5 minutes in this bike so this pain thoda thoda ho raha hai and then uh, talking about my uh, back back mein itna pain start nahi hua hai but i am damn sure that if i'll drive for around 15 to 30 minutes pain thoda thoda hoga that's for sure and i mean i i, I love but uh, for longer rides it's not the best bike for you guys i guarantee you that it's not the best because of the sitting position and it, but what I have to say is in terms of looks and in terms of also power this is the best 150cc bike you can buy and the cost of this bike is Abe, it is how much is it? 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 total? 50? 50. so the cost of this bike is uh, 1,50,000 on road price so yes it is a uh, I mean a costlier bike in terms of 150cc so he has taken from this showroom but so this is a brand new bike abhi tak service bhi nahi hua hai so I cannot say anything about the, in terms of top speed and first gear and first gear top end he said that the first service is finished and then we will see how much top speed is going and how much the first gear end is going to be now I can just tell you about uh, up to this so now my wrist pain is starting to be guys so yes So those who go gym and build muscle and build muscle for them this bike is the best because you can see uh, the shape of your tricep So one thing I to test karna hai, that is the turning radius of this bike So let's check it out Is it going to go it's not good for the turning radius Hasty bhai Obviously, when I was uh, driving R15 here, it was a huge transition because its seating position is very aggressive and compared to my bike So, it was very relaxed and relaxed because uh, my wrist pain started So, its seating position is very good so guys that was all about my review about the RN5 V3 If you want to know anything about more about that bike then do comment down uh, comment uh, down and ask me whatever you want and if you want to see more videos about the RN5 V3 then do subscribe to my channel and tell me yaar konsa video banana hai So that's it guys Bye bye for now I will see you in the next week what a great video! Bye bye!
आइडेंटिटी आइडेंटि था वो There are small pains in my wrist. This part, small pains because I've never used to this sitting position. I'm थोड़ा सा ऑफ रोडिंग कर लेना भाई अरे जुबना ट्यूशन पांच से पंद्रह लड़ी So riding the around 5v3 was really fun, and I also have shared the experience. So I hope you like this small video. And here I have been. And so do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next week with a great video. And wish me good luck for my semester exam, which will be on December 14 to December 27. And bye bye.